What's good everyone, it's Kajani with a gathering guide for the brilliant gathering tools that were released in patch 6.45. Before we get into all the gathering and all the fishing that we are about to do, here are the stats for the brilliant pickaxe and the brilliant hatchet. When we compare the brilliant tool to an indicator, the brilliant gathering tool has slightly less gathering but it does have slightly more GP as well as perception. Also, for some reason, it does more physical damage. When you take into consideration that there is one more upgrade step, the brilliant gathering tools are on pace to become better than the indicator gathering tools. This is no surprise because we kind of guessed that this would happen. If you are on the fence about getting a brilliant tool, hopefully knowing this will motivate you to start the Splendorous Tool questline. Here are the stats for the brilliant fishing rod along with its ability. Honestly, not much to say except that the Brilliant Fishing Rod will most likely be better than an Indicator after the last step. There has been a major change to how we receive the items that are used to upgrade the Splendorous Gathering Tools. We can now use Ethereal Reduction on the collectibles that we gather. As you can see, when you use Ethereal Reduction on a collectible, you will receive the item necessary to upgrade your Splendorous Tool. The upgrade materials that you're receiving from Ethereal Reduction are the same materials that you would have received from Quinana. So with this change, you no longer have to turn in collectibles to Quinana. All you have to do is just use Ethereal Reduction and you can stay out in the field until you have the necessary amount of items for each respective quest. It gets even better because with collectibles at max collectability, you have a chance at bonus turn in items. For example, with Botanist and Miner, if you get the bonus, you can get 6 items instead of 3. If you get the bonus with your Fisher, you can get 4 turn in items instead of 2. If you get enough bonus items, you can reduce the number of collectibles that you ultimately need. So I want to say thank you to whomever at Square Enix thought of this because this is very much appreciated. If by chance you missed the quest to get the ethereal reduction ability, I put the quest information in the description of the video. Let's get into what you'll need for your botanist and miner. There are breakpoints you'll need to reach in order to receive gathering bonuses. Here are the perception breakpoints for each quest. If you're using the recommended or the budget melding for your gathering gear, you will easily meet the perception breakpoints. In order to reach the GP breakpoints, I recommend using a food like Yakao Musaka or Peppered Popotos. Make sure that you have plenty of high cordials because they will be on cooldown throughout this whole process. Rationing manuals are a plus because they will extend your food buff. And lastly, make sure that you have some good music to listen to or something to watch because you are in for a lot of gathering. Now let's go over how to get the brilliant fishing rod. In order to catch any of the fish, make sure that you turn on your collector's glove, you are using the appropriate fishing rod, and that you are also using select bait. You can purchase the bait from Quinana and I recommend starting off with two stacks of 99. To determine the location of the fish involved, you're gonna have to speak with Quinana, then read the description of the fish in the turn in window. Or if you don't have time for any of that, you can find the information for each fish in the description of the video and you can find some fishing macros in the comments. The only fish that does not have a fishing macro is the Forgiven Melancholy. It is the only fish with a medium tug that you'll encounter in its respective fishing node which makes it super easy to target. Overall, make sure that you're using Patience 2 because it's going to increase the chances of catching a large size fish, thus increasing the collectability of the fish you just caught. The higher the collectability of the fish, the more chances of getting that sweet bonus from ethereal production. That's all I got for this overview of the brilliant gathering tools. I really enjoyed the process of getting these gathering relics and I'm really looking forward to the next stage. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments of the video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you all in the next video. Until next time, peace.